question, and I, I share your concern. I think election integrity is critically important, and, and I think voter fraud has been a persistent challenge in our elections. In 2020, we saw a concerted effort of Democrats across this country to rig the system, to, to enact policies that they knew would increase the chances of voter fraud, things like universal mail-in ballots, things like ballot drop boxes that are unsecured and invite voter fraud, things like ballot harvesting laws that, again, invite voter fraud. I think we need to fight it. We need to fight it using every tool we have. Now, what does that mean? That means in red states, in states like Texas or Georgia or Florida, we can and we have passed common sense voter integrity laws. I think that is great. I have been fighting for those laws for 20 years now. I think that is incredibly important. Unfortunately, though, we are in an environment today where one of the two major parties, the Democrat Party, has decided voter fraud is good for it, that politically the Democrat Party benefits from voter fraud. What that means is today's Democrats oppose any efforts to imp improve election integrity. That means in blue states or even purple states where the Democrats control significant parts of the machinery of state government, we're not going to see common sense election integrity laws passed. So what should we do about it? In red states, we should pass the laws we can. In blue states, we need to have armies of lawyers and volunteers to monitor the existing system. And then we need to win the elections. And, and here's the good news. Look, I talked about at the beginning how the corrupt corporate media and the Democrats want you and want me to, to give up, want us to think it's hopeless. The good news about voter fraud is historically it only impacts the outcome when the election is close. When the election is close, that's when voter fraud can shift the outcome. That's when a thumb on the scale can steal the election. The answer, and this is not fair, it's not right, but it's the only answer we have, is to win by a big enough margin they can't steal it from us. And, and I'll give you a point of encouragement. Look to the state of Virginia. Virginia prior to last year was a bright blue state. Joe Biden had won Virginia by 10 points. Virginia didn't do a dang thing to improve voter integrity in the year after 2020. It didn't do anything to take on the Democrat laws that had increased the chances of voter fraud. And yet, in 2021, we won the governor's office in Virginia. I went and campaigned for Glenn Youngkin. I, camp I endorsed Glenn Youngkin. I spent two days barnstorming the state of Virginia with the Republican candidate to win that state. And the reason we won is we won by a big enough margin they couldn't steal it. So that's what we've got to do in November. And then when we have majorities, we should pass common sense election integrity laws to make it harder and harder for unscrupulous operatives to try to steal votes.